So today I'll be breaking down one of my art pieces uploaded on Instagram. This is an infinite loop and I was asked how I made the crystal. So let's jump into Maya and see how it's done. Press shift plus right click to add in a platonic solid. Go to the attribute editor. Pump up the subdivisions to 2 and the subdivision mode from chords to pi. And that's basically it for the crystal. Now moving the crystal aside, we're gonna make the ring. So add a torus, play with its parameters until it feeds right. You're welcome to copy what I'm doing. Once that's done, go to the deform menu, then to non-linear and click on twist. Turn the torus right side up, select twist modifier, go to its attributes and play with the start angle. For this, we're gonna leave it at 360 degrees. Now before moving any forward, you need to delete its history by going to edit, delete by type and history. Next, add in a plane and scale it according to your scene. Position it below the object and tweak the subdivisions Feel free to copy mine. Now go back to the deform menu, but this time select texture. Click on the checkerboard next to texture and select fractal. However, this looks choppy. So we'll select it and press three to smooth it out. Now we'll add a camera in our scene by going to view and selecting create camera from view. And click this little camera icon to select the camera. Go to the attribute editor and tweak the transforms to match your composition and also set the focal length to your desire. Now turn on the resolution gate and everything inside this area will be rendered. You can go to the render settings to set the image size. After setting your comp, make sure to lock the camera. And now we'll move on to animating. Make sure on the first frame, go to rotate transform, hit right click and select set key. Now go to frame 121 and enter minus 360 degrees in X axis and set key. But here's the problem, our animation starts slow, picks up speed in the middle and ends slow. To fix that, go to Windows, Animation Editor, open the Graph Editor, select the curve and click this button, which will linearize your graph and that should fix it. I did the same with the crystal and you feel free to play with the settings until you like it. And now we'll move on to adding some textures. To do that, hit right click assign new material and select AI standard surface under Arnold shader. I'll show you what the original file looks like. For the torus, click the checkerboard and under Arnold textures, select AI thin film. Scroll down to thin film and enter these values. And for the crystal, add the material, go to the presets and replace it with a diamond material. And under specular, change the IOR to 2.420 because that's the magic number. For the ground, it's pretty much the same. Add in a new AI standard surface, click the checkerboard and select marble. For lighting, I added a sky dome and used an HDRI from HDRI Haven. By clicking the checkerboard, then file and browsing the HDRI file. For intensity, I kept it at 0.4. Next, I added two area lights, one in front and one on top with both having exposure of 12. For the background, I added an image on a plane like we did on the sky dome, but that's not it. In the emission settings, I pumped the weight to 0.1 and used the color from the image to match the lighting. And that's all. 